in Nazi Germany and in many other nations that have fallen to tyranny throughout history, generally the takeover is done incrementally. That's the surest way long term to take a free society and to be able to convert it into a despotic system. The United States, according to rafts of university studies around the world, is trending into a total fascist system controlled by foreign offshore corporate interests that are above the law. Bilderberg, Davos, they're transferring all the nation state powers and due process into things like the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership and other systems, the WTO. They're militarizing our police. They are surveilling us without warrants. From Australia to the United States, from Germany to England, from South Africa to Mexico, the same systems of tyranny are being globally standardized and deployed. Infowars is in trouble. Infowars is under massive attack. And a lot of pundits, a lot of analysts have always pointed out that Infowars.com is seen as a canary in the coal mine. That when the system really starts to come after us, in the info war, that Hillary admits we're winning, you're winning, you are the info war, we're just one focal point of that, that the hammer's dropping. And it's not just us, and I'm gonna break down what's happening in a moment. It's the internet power grab by the FCC. It's the TPP provision, the one part that got leaked where it gives total internet control over to private corporations under copyright or under terms of use violation where you're banned from the web, internet taxes, internet IDs to track you, Zuckerberg from Facebook meeting with the Chinese censors two months ago, it's on. And we've seen a seismic increase of persecution of the press, not just here but all over the Western world, uh, a seismic increase uh, exponential in, in censorship, but in the last month, whether it's been YouTube, or whether it's been Facebook, or whether it's been Alexa owned by Amazon, and dirty tricks behind the scenes you wouldn't believe. The system is intensifying massive attacks against us right now. And if they can shut us down or cripple us, they can shut you down. Infowars is breaking national news every day. We're generating top news stories that affect change every week or so that become the biggest stories in the country, like Jade Helm, the TSA, you name it. One of the uh, committee members of the FCC, one of the commissioners, came out three days ago and said they've been in meetings and they're looking at trying to take down Drudge. If they could take down Drudge uh, under Federal Elections Commission claiming his free speech is electioneering, it's over, folks. Do you understand? We've been basically delisted by Alexa saying we have no visitors, even though our ratings are up. And every pro-globalist organization has gone up as we go down. Every libertarian or conservative group. Fox News was delisted and lost 80% of their traffic the same day we did. But the traffic's still there. That's where ad agencies go to make purchasing decisions. Fox News won't even stand up for itself because I guess it's basically part of it. They're attacking us as well. I was attacked by CNN last night saying that we believe the military is going to take over this summer. When we said it's all part of conditioning, they literally edited the tape down to three seconds to make it sound like I said that. We're going to play that coming up here with Dave and I today. I'm taking off the radio show, this is so big today, to get with lawyers, to talk to some lawyers in New York, and to decide what I'm going to do. Because I have to try to talk to the Electronic Frontier Foundation, the EFF and others. Um, they've helped us out before. We've had issues. I've had to sue people before. I don't make a big deal about it. Um, some of the lawyers involved have lost their licenses you know, that have gone after us. There's a lot of stuff i got to deal with. And I have to come to a decision today and start pulling some triggers. But most importantly, just know this. The canary's sick. The canary is under attack. There's gas in the mine. This is affecting everybody. They're coming after your Internet freedom. They're power grabbing on every level. They've got the IRS persecuting Second Amendment groups, Christian groups, veterans groups. They got veterans on don't treat death list. And a year's gone by and nothing's happened. They even admitted last week in the news, oh, nothing's changed. I mean, stuff's getting crazy, folks. And why are they allowing censorship? They're testing it. To use another bird analogy, like a parrot or bird will test a perch to make sure it's stable with its beak before it gets on it. 
They're testing to see what happens. They're probing. They're pushing. Obama dissolved the borders, didn't get in trouble. Obama put our military under NATO command, didn't get in trouble. Funded ISIS and al-Qaeda, didn't get in trouble. Overthrew our allies in Egypt, put Muslim Brotherhood in, didn't get in trouble. And he's just a front man for this agenda, but the globalists are very bold right now, starting a war with Russia, destabilizing countries, destabilizing our nation, shutting down half our power plants the last seven years. We're under attack, and that's why the population's lost trust in the government, because it's illegitimate. And now the system knows people are listening to Infowars.com as a conduit, so they're coming in on us. And just understand that, ladies and gentlemen, that you need to pray for us. Even if you're not a Christian, just try to support us. Tell your friends and family about the broadcast. Send them links to the podcast, to the Infowars.com forward slash show page. Tell them about local affiliates in your area, get aggressive about this because nothing can stop human intelligence and human action and word of mouth. You're the reason we're exploding. You're the reason citizens are putting up billboards for Infowars.com across the country. You're the reason we're gaining affiliates. But if they can delist us as they did today and kick us off Facebook, we have 3 million likes. Our biggest, we have like 14 different Facebooks. Our biggest one has 800 plus thousand. We noticed it was going towards a million, suddenly started getting reversed about a month ago, started losing them. Now they used uh, us putting up an image, no violence, in a, in a news article of ISIS, and they banned us for three days. They say they may permanently ban us. You go to CNN's Facebook, there's images of ISIS all over it. People say, well, they own that, they can do that. No, they advertise that you come there and put your content on, and as long as you follow their rules, they won't take you down. But then they selectively violate that. No one's safe if they can take your website down because you put an image up of an ISIS fighter and we basically say they're terrorists. And I guess it's because we call them terrorists and the Obama administration won't under new political correctness. And they've told us, you cannot call them terrorists. So under new political correctness, you cannot call radicalism terrorists. I mean, a federal judge ruled kids can't wear American flags at school because they're offensive. I mean, if, if, if we lose our speech, we lose everything. And it's, it's all intensifying. It's coming down. And look at the economy. Look at the 0.2% growth. It's probably like 3%, 2% negative. It's what most economists say. We're in trouble. Something big's coming. Is it the dollar devaluation? Is it a bigger war? Governments are gearing up. There's a lot of preparation. Soros is trying to start riots with the police. This country is being destabilized. And Infowars is under attack. Like you've never done before. In their face, we need to... Promote InfoWars, promote the radio show, promote the video feeds, promote these articles you see on InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Nothing can stop you from posting it on Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and on your own message boards and Pinterest and Craigslist and everywhere else. And at the end of your emails, a link to our video feeds, our audio feeds. Get out there and show them the power you've got. Let's have a people bomb against tyranny. Let's have an anti-tyranny bomb today. On this Wednesday, what, the sixth day of May 2015, to let the system know we're fighting back. Because the good news is, this is the empire striking back. We're beginning to win. That's why they're launching this operation. But I've got to take action to defend the First Amendment. They're trying to ram through the TPP right now. That's secret. The one provision that was released, because WikiLeaks got it, they admit ends internet freedom and allows corporations to kick you off the web, not just their sites, because they say so. No judge, no jury. Corporate, global governance. And whether it's Zuckerberg or the head of Amazon, they're all working with Obama to shut down free speech. My God, where is the so-called left on this? I attacked Bush for his tyranny. It was nothing compared to this. This has gone into overdrive. Are you really going to let them arrest people in the Tea Party and shut down Christian churches and tell the troops they can't be Christians and the founding fathers were bad people. I, I mean, this is, this is like a giant re-education camp this country's being turned into. And just support our local affiliates. We support them. We get the ratings. We get the advertisers for folks locally, but it isn't enough because the establishment is targeting our affiliates as well in dirty trick campaigns. They're lying and saying that we said things we didn't say. If you don't hear it out of my mouth, we didn't say it. When MSNBC says, I'm a racist, or I influence the bombers, uh, the Boston bombing, and then they don't show a clip, they wouldn't be getting that outrageous in their propaganda if they weren't desperate. I'm Alex Jones. I'm going to pass the baton to David Knight. I'll be calling in later with some updates on this, but this is a big deal.
And if tyranny came, would we notice? If tyranny came, would we do something? If tyranny came, would we wake up and say no? You're being tested right now. They're not just coming after us. The censorship is intensifying across the board, but we're being hammered by name in over 100 publications a day, CNN and Fox News last night. It was ABC News the night before. Last week, every channel lying about what we say, that, we, that, that David Dewhurst, the CIA operative, former lieutenant governor, came out in ABC News and said that the groups criticizing, and my name was in there, Jade Helm want to spit on the troops like Vietnam. What the hell? The troops don't want to be part of Jade Helm. They know it's part of a conditioning operation. You see how they're operating, folks? And they got the Republicans working with them on, on these globalist operations, on TPP, on all of it. It's here. We're being conquered. We're being usurped. And they don't want to have a debate about it. They want to shut down people who are engaged in legitimate journalism. Modern Paul Revere's, all of you, ride now. Get the word out and send people to InfoWars.com because it's the information they don't want you to be aware of. I'm Alex Jones from the front lines of the InfoWar. We now go live to David Knight from the InfoWars.com News Center in Austin, the house that the people built, the house where patriotism and the resistance lives.